So let's go ahead and get on in and we're gonna grab the inks because Inky has to go in tonight. So I've gotta grab her, <laughs> which is not easy. She's gonna bite me. Ah, there we go. Easy inks, come here girl. That's my precious girl, look at her. Oh, look at that, they just rake you, man. They just dig right in. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show her this new and improved hideout. Come on, go in your hole. Yay, Inky's in her hole. Hey, what's going on? Ken in here. Today, we are gonna get to work on Inky's habitat. Uh, she's got from here to here, okay? But I wanna open this section up so that she has all this area, okay? I want her to have the whole top of this area. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's special shout out goes to Rebecca Ray. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. There's a lot of nice sun that shines in here in the winter. She's over, she's over there. There she is hiding. And uh, so there's that. I have to pull the wire off. That's all I got to do there. Then we're going to take some of this fluker bedding, our rep to bark bedding here, the forest floor substrate. I love it so much. Thanks to my friends at Fluker for hooking me up with it. We're going to bring the level up. There'll be this gravel so it can kind of drain. Yeah. So we're going to bring that level up to here. Okay. And uh, we might spread some of the plants out and whatnot. But another fun thing we're going to do I'm really excited about this people is over here we have her little hide area if i can open this here we go so we have this area as her hide box right but it doesn't look good it just doesn't look good so we're gonna pull it out i'm gonna pull this sucker out okay and uh you know it rains and the rain can get through here so it gets real wet in there and which is not terrible but I want to have some control over the, uh, you know, the environment. This also looks horrible, but I don't think there's anything I can do about this today um, other than maybe putting some rocks around it or something like that. But we're going to do a new hide. Let me show you what I got planned. I'm really excited about this. I need to show you. Oh, let me just make sure I lock this because, you know, got to lock it. Uh, all right. So we're, what's up, Guops? How you doing, buddy? He's out in the sun. Beautiful day today. The, uh... Chinese box turtles are box turtling, and of course, we'll be seeing her as we walk in and out of this enclosure. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. But let me show you what I've uh, uncovered in the old warehouse. So we got our friends at Fluker. We also have our friends at Aquascape that always give me some cool stuff. Now, we have this log, right? So we've got their uh, faux tree stump, okay? And this tree stump, is you know made to kind of hide a pump or hide you know one of their um automatic dosers and or just as a bench you can kind of put it out there by your pond and you can kind of hang out and sit on it well check it out i have the the good old fluker heat mats okay and what i've done is i've stapled this one to the log and that'll provide nice heat the lizard can lay on it. She can also get out of it uh, when she doesn't want to if she moves a little bit further in. Um, I'm going to cut this insulation and I'm going to place it on here and we're going to maybe get a piece of wood or some kind of plastic sheeting, something that I can pre-drill holes into here and then attach it. Uh, at least that's my plan. We're going to attach it. And then the other thing I'd like to do is since I'm going to create a back door, so to speak, um, or what I was thinking, I don't know, do I want to stand this thing up as it's meant to be? Okay. And then I'm going to cut a hole out that the lizard can kind of crawl through this hole with my hole saws over here. Um, or do I want it to lay on its side like this and half bury it and then have a hole there? that she can crawl in that way. And then maybe, you know, because I have a um, door here of some kind, I'll be able to access her if I need to. But this will be kind of the off display area, if that makes any sense. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. I've got a fool with this. This is gonna be the uh, most labor intensive and, and involve more of my brains today. So I'm gonna get to work on this. We're gonna go ahead and time lapse it and um, Let's see what I can come up with, people. Who knows?
Okay, so I have the, um, I got this insulation in here. I'm gonna go, ha I'm gonna have to go buy some gap filler foam and I'm gonna kind of use that to secure this into it. So we'll gap fill this and then I might just get some plywood, a uh, small piece that I have laying around. I'll have to get a jigsaw because I don't have one. Um, but I'll go ahead and cut a nice piece here and we'll put it on either maybe with glue. I might be able to do some kind of wood glue, glue to fiberglass, I think this is. Um, some adhesive, put it right on, no problem. Uh, that should do it. And then, uh, oh yeah, the other thing I gotta do is I gotta make a door. So uh, yeah, so much to do. But what I think now, I'm gonna leave this for a second because I don't wanna just run out at the moment when I can still get things done because you know, daylight is a wasting. And uh, let's come back over here and I'll just go ahead and pull out that wire and I'll go ahead and get the bedding in and rearrange the enclosure a little bit so that it's, um, you know, more, more wide open for her. We'll get some of these plants uh, spread out a little bit and I think that'll look cool. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, get on up there, open this up and get right to work. Hmm, this looks suspect too. You know what I'll use for here? I might have to do, um, I don't know if she can dig out of that. I didn't know, but maybe I'll just go ahead and put some, uh, a strip of wire up across this and that'll secure that. Should be no problem. I'll put it on the inside, to be honest. Uh, okay, that's what I gotta do. I got work to do. Here we go again. Okay, I've got this place pretty much cleared out. Um, what I'm gonna do now is, man, it looks like a storm's blowing in right now. Ooh, there's always something. Uh, it's gonna get cool tonight, so I'll probably have to bring Inky in uh, as well as some of the other animals. But what I'm gonna do is go get that gap filler foam. I gotta run to the hardware store and uh, yeah, I'll pick up when I get back. See you in a minute.
All right, everyone, here it is. There's our log and simply, it's upside down, simply, it's gonna look like this. Um, I figure I don't have a lot of time. We're losing daylight and it's getting cool. So I made my little flaps. There's a heating uh, tape in there from Fluker, their large heat mat. Um, I just did four screws to hold it in. So if I ever need to get Inky out, I can actually just maybe screw something right here. I can lift this whole thing out and bring it inside without getting hands on her. Um, but if I have to get her out, I can just undo four screws and she'll be out. Um, what we need to do now is I need to place this thing, get it set up. We're gonna dress this thing best we can here with the time I have left. So let's get to it. I gotta hurry up and get this done. All right, everyone, there's Inky hanging out upside down, just kind of chilling. We're gonna get her all straightened away and uh, this should look pretty good. I'm excited, a lot more room for her. Yee -hoo! everybody we are done uh really happy with how this turned out look at how clean it looks very simple i want to um just make sure the only real place for her to hide is of course inside the log uh simple water design i can easily remove it and clean it uh we've got you know a little bit of a log buried there we've added so much of the uh, reptobark and uh man this is just really really cool so simply what we've done i'm gonna get on in man this looks like a fun enclosure uh took out the potted plants and just planted them right in there there's earthworms and soil and gravel all kinds of good stuff uh so we planted these plants they'll just do their thing and she just hanging out right now upside down but you can see um towards the back this is going to be where she goes in and out um i can seal it up if i have to um if i wanted to get her out of here i could just lift this whole thing up uh, i didn't nail anything down but it's still pretty darn sturdy um kept the logs everything back she's just got a lot of room in here um and i'm digging this a whole lot more so let's go ahead and get on in and we're going to grab the inks because Inky has to go in tonight because it's going to be a little chilly. So we're going to put her right in. So I've got to grab her, <laughs> which is not easy because she's a uh, fast little monster. She's going to bite me. She might. Ah, there we go. Easy inks. Come here, girl. Good girl. Look at her. That's my precious girl. Look at her. So beautiful. And she's growing up nicely. Don't you guys think? Just a beautiful black dragon. Oh, ow. Ooh, she's doing the monitor stuff. Oh, look at that. They just rake you, man. They just dig right in. They know. They know what to do to hurt you. We're going to go ahead and we're going to show her this new and improved hideout. I'm going to put you guys right... Oh, you know what? It's so hard to do when you have a lizard just destroying your arm. Let's just do this. Let's open up the tripod like so. There you go. I know. I can't wait till Tom comes back. He's coming back soon, people. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get Tom back up in here. Let's do it. All right, there you go. Oh, Inky, you're gonna love it in your new hole. Come on, go in your hole. Go in your hole. Go in your hole. Yay, Inky's in her hole. That's Inky's hole. So there you have it, people. A new and improved Inky enclosure. I'm digging it. We've got this thing plugged in. Wow, it was a lot of fun doing this. Um, I'm really glad. And you know, how cool um, that Aquascape makes these uh, really cool uh, hides um, that are actually made to hide any kind of equipment you may have around the pond. Um, well, now it's actually doubling as a really cool sleeky hide. So uh, I wanna shout out Aquascape. They're great friends of mine. They've really helped me transform this place. Uh, and I also want to shout out Fluker. Um, the help that they have been uh, giving me with food and, of course, all the reptobark. I mean, you know, 
I know I'm lucky guys, but I use this stuff because I want you to see how easy it is, how great it is for the animals and how naturalistic it looks. It just looks beautiful. Look, we've got a little moss growing right there. I mean, really, really cool. So we're keeping this nice and simple so I can get in here and grab her if I need to. I love it. I just absolutely love it. So thank you to uh, both those companies for helping me out. You guys are the best. Aquascape and Fluker Farms, thank you. And uh, I will see you guys again on another video. Let me know what you think of uh, the new and improved Slinky Habitat. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do you like what you see? Um, what could I have done better? Hey man, I'm open, I can take it. Um, but this is a real quick design, real simple. And uh, we utilized some things we already had laying around the camp. Um, but I did go buy a jigsaw. Pretty happy about that. I've needed one. It's got a nice one. The wall. So I'm pretty excited. Anyway, um, used it for two seconds. Oh well, $200. Well, what are you doing? Uh, it'll come in handy again, I promise. Anyway, that's it. That's it for the show. I'll see you guys later. Um, I love getting things done. And I love taking care of my animals. Thanks so much. I should probably get out of this cage now and go eat dinner. Later.